do you become a better writer? I think that the most obvious answer is to read. There are so many good books out there about writing, about the experience of being a writer, about how to write, um, and examples of great writing. I think that the two big categories of books that you should be drawing from if you want to become a better writer are books about writing, people writing about the experience of writing, and great novels. Because regardless, if you are exclusively a business copywriter, your ability to learn prose and to learn storytelling becomes fantastically relevant and important because marketing copywriting is all about the human experience. It's all about tapping into pain points and value drivers. So looking at the way people weave stories and the characters that they create and all of that will help you and enrich your life a lot. I could go on a really long tangent about all of my favorite fiction novels. I'm a huge sci-fi fan and obviously I like just, uh, I mean, I, I read all the time. So I love, love, love novels and fiction. Today what I want to talk about is actually to give you just some very basic examples of the books that I would recommend every single writer in the world to read. I think that these are the ones that out of probably the hundred or more that I've written that are books about writing, these are the ones that stand out to me as the most useful. You'll find the style varies a little bit from book to book and it kind of, you know, you'll find ones that fit you a little better, that kind of like ring true in your mind or that inspire you. Um, and these are those for me. So I think that if you're looking at creating a library of books about writing, this is a really good place to start. All right, so the first is a book that we did in our book club at Hire a Writer, and it's called Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott. I did not like vet the process of showing you these on camera, but I think it'll work. Um, so Anne Lamott is a fantastic writer. She's one of my favorite writers of all time. She, in Bird by Bird, basically gives a like Cliff Notes version of writing courses that she teaches. So she covers tons of topics on how to create narratives, how to sell writing. Now it is geared more a little bit towards like fiction writers or people writing novels or books to sell. So it's a little bit less about marketing, but honestly, we all found it incredibly relevant. Um, the experience of writing, what it feels like, what to do when you're blocked, different things like that. So this is absolutely one that I think should be on every writer's shelf. I think it has tons of good information. Another one is, um, the Right Story by Bernadette Jiwa. So she is a good friend of Seth Godin. If you've heard of him, I'm sure you have. Um, hopefully you can see the cover of this. I don't know what my exposure level is like. Um, the Right Story. So this one is for marketers. So this is all about writing stories for the purpose of marketing. Um, and it becomes a really powerful, it, it's very simple. It, and so it's, you know, it doesn't go super deep, but it has lots of really actionable ideas. So as you're thinking about becoming a better storytelling writer, this is a really good one that's going to give you lots of tools for that purpose. So I think that that would be a good one. I guess I can't really go on without mentioning this one. <laughs> I mean, if you haven't read Story Brand by Donald Miller, I, you, you probably have to, like, I think you lose like your marketing card or something if you don't read it. Um, what I will say is almost all of us have worked in the story brand. We've worked around story brand. We've, you know, known story brand specialists and consultants and things like that. I do think that the primary tenants of what he breaks down here are really good. And, you know, if you've studied things like the mono myth, which I actually have a video about um, intro to storytelling, is I think what the video is called. But if you've studied like the principles of narrative structure and character arcs and things like that, it, it does make you a better marketing writer, but he basically applies those kinds of principles, right? And, think, and you know, his formula is very rigid and we all have our opinions about story brand, but I do think it's worth reading and I think it's worth like, go to the source. We all hear a lot of things about story brand. Read it for yourself. Figure out what he is actually saying and then kind of form, figure out what you can extract from that and apply to your own writing practices. I think that that's really powerful. Okay, another book. I think that writers should write, should read books about script writing. I think that this is actually a really untapped resource for a lot of writers. A lot of writers don't know much about script writing, but if you think about it, speech writers were like the original marketing copywriters. Like back in the day, like in politics, like before we had digital, before we had, you know, a lot, even in print, people gave speeches and writers wrote those speeches. And those speeches had to follow a specific formula and they had to hook people in and they had to tell stories and they had to be full of emotion. Like a speech is marketing. Like a speech is a very condensed, action-packed version of great marketing copy. So elements of eloquence, um, is a really helpful, it's a little bit technical. So if you're not like a grammarian or you haven't had like 
if you, you maybe aren't college educated, like if you're not quite as academic, it might be a little bit of a tough read and please don't hear anything from that. There's absolutely no problem with that, but I just wanted to, you know, prepare you so you don't feel bored to tears. It is a little bit technical, but I do think it's very applicable and I think it's a really good resource to have, like pull it off the shelf. There's stuff that you're going to want to look at and look up. And he uses examples from literature and things like that. That'll kind of help you make the bridge between some of the more complex concepts and application, which I think is good. I'm going to save that one for last. Okay. So another one is writing down the bones. Okay. Natalie Goldberg, writing down the bones. This is a fantastic, every writer should read this. Um, how do you write the human experience? Okay. Thinking about pulling inspiration from your life, thinking about culture and family and history and context and all of these like really important, profound principles that inform great writing. She she goes there, right? And she goes there in a very personal sense. So it's all about how do you become the best writer you can be? How do you tap into the kind of the stories that are within you? Um, and I think that is really inspiring and beautifully written. And so I definitely think that's one that you should um, read. Okay. I put that one in the wrong spot. Okay. This is another one. This is actually more of an example. I actually really like this book. It's called 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think by Brianna Wiest. I don't know how you say it. Um, I think that there are right, reading short stories and reading essays are a really powerful way for you to become a better writer because the format and structure of an essay, right? So reading the Atlantic, reading the economist, reading, um, you know, news articles and reading the New Yorker, reading story style, editorial kind of news articles, um, are really powerful ways for you to get better at packaging copy and figuring out like decoding the structure of copy in order to analyze its component parts. So this is, I, I do like this, but it's also just more kind of an illustration. I think in this context for me to say to you, like read essays, read longer form than just like a news article and um, things that kind of pick something apart. Malcolm Gladwell would be a great example. So I definitely think you should think about uh, reading anything Malcolm Gladwell has written. Okay. Two more examples. The first is going to be why I write. So Penguin Books actually did this really cool series where they took really famous authors. So there, I have one on like George Orwell is this one. I have Seneca. Um, and basically it's like their quotes about writing. Um, and I think it's really neat because it, it takes an author that you probably are very familiar with their work and kind of gets behind the curtain of the writing experience. Another really good example of that that is less historical, it's more current, is Robert Caro wrote a book on that. Um, he's the one who wrote like the big Lyndon Johnson, you know, three series like biographies, one of the best biographists of all time. His book called Working, um, I don't have it it's on the shelf, but um, is so fantastic. And I definitely think it's really cool to like understand the amount of research and effort that goes, that went into a lot of the writing that we're familiar with in novel form or in historical form now. So I think that that series is really cool and diving into it is really helpful. I'm gonna finish the best for last. Okay, this, if you don't own this book as a writer, you can't work for me. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it's called Several Short Sentences About Writing. It will change your life as a writer. Okay. Verlin Klickenborg, I'm going to say. I don't know exactly how to say it. it I send it to everybody who works for me. Um, it is astounding. And I would say if I were to like summarize what it will help you do, it will help you edit your writing. It will help you rethink how you are phrasing things and how you are using sentence structures in order to create content. It is fantastically powerful. Okay. I'm a huge book nerd. If you're going to be a great writer, read. There are so, so, so many resources out there. And I understand the value of watching a YouTube video. Sure. Watch my YouTube videos, subscribe to my channel. Of course I want your, you know, engagement in that way, but more importantly, read because you'll go deeper. You'll learn things on a deeper level. You can get more detail, more illustration, more color, um, just more. And I think that reading great books about writing is going to help you become a better writer. And I hope that you do.